I'm Kaya Kemami, freelance illustrator, graphic designer, tattooist, and trans activist. Passionate about making sure my identity is known to everybody. Everybody has representation and is felt to be loved. Um, biggest passion is my community, myself, <laughs> and my work. I applied to get my gender marker changed um, on my documentation. Um, yeah, that was the first time I actually faced that, even though in our constitution we have like a clause that says I'm allowed to exist, I'm allowed to be accepted. But when I, when I apply for things that affirm me, I have to do things like discuss whether I've gotten bottom surgery or not, what surgeries I want to get. Um, and I have to get literally what they call a diagnosis letter. And for anyone who's watching this who doesn't understand what I mean by this, is transness in the medical field and the mental field in South Africa is viewed as an illness. So you have to get diagnosed with body dysphoria or body dysmorphia or gender dysphoria. And the, what the equivalent to an antidepressant is hormones, is undergoing gender affirming. So I had to get, I had to pay out of my own way to get diagnosed by someone to say basically, yeah, this person is sick and has this issue that is qualified to do the such and such and such and such. But at the same time, I'm expected to have done everything in the spectrum of transitioning in order to be validated enough to change my own information and not live on with dysphoria. So I really don't think the government view, like understands the extent in which a lot of us don't really get the rights that we should, how we're not embraced, how a lot of us are not catered to. It's very, it's very shallow, it's very black and white. It's very like, we'll write it down, but when it comes to practice, we'll figure it out as we go.